Hey guys, Killboy here. Uh, gonna go over a few differences today between the stock Nerf Rapid Strike Blaster versus a modified with a two cell 7.2 volt and a modified with a three cell 11.1 volt upgrade. Uh, show you the differences. Uh, out of the box, for those that are not familiar, these are Nerf's only full auto uh, dart blaster. They take uh, 4C batteries and a little tray slides in the front and screws hold it in I've got it loose so I can show that of course uh, so that gives you six volts normally I take the uh, blaster apart and do some modifications to the electronics inside to accept the higher voltage without causing problems and I always pick up the wrong one this one I've got open here so and I changed the battery tray I put some leads in the in the battery tray to connect to the lipo battery and you can still use the tray for 4C batteries. You'd probably have to desolder those leads, but um, don't modify the tray very much. Take out a few dividers and that's it. So there's the basics. Um, we'll do a demonstration now, show the difference in the firing um, speed, the rate of fire, and they also shoot a little farther, but I'm not trying to throw away darts today, so I'm using my filthy Evo here as a uh, backstop. So this is the stock 6 volt 4C battery powered rapid strike demonstration. All right, so that was 18 round magazine. This is the two cell at 7.2 volts, probably a little higher current delivery even though the battery's smaller, the LiPos are uh, a much higher current delivery method. So it's a little bit of voltage difference, but you'll notice a, a big change. So again, that was 18. And then finally, the 11.1 three cell, which is about as high as you wanna push these stock motors. Uh, it's still a little rough on them, but I haven't heard of anybody really killing them yet. <laughs> so we'll run through that whole clip in about three seconds um so there you have it hopefully that's uh informative for you and check us out at customnerfguns.com i'm killboy later